I hosted my biggest 2v2 tournament ever. It has number one Preds in it, kill grinders, pro players, and everything else in between. Not only does it have a battle royale part to it, but it also has a direct 2v2 competition. Let's go watch the insane beans and the pros and Preds fight it out for some cash money. We'll start off with the Battle Royale section of the tournament and then we'll move over to the direct 2v2s with the winners of the Battle Royale section. How it works, the Battle Royale section is really simple. We play three games on the three main maps, World's Edge, Stormpoint and KC. You get points for all of them based on your kills and placement and the winner has the most points at the end. Prizes for obviously the top rated team and the person with most kills. Let's do it. First up, we have arguably the best map for competitive, Stormpoint. To start with, we're going to jump all the way forward to Zone 2 to spectate Freestyle and Apex Predator going up against a couple of pro players. Rondon and Ezzy here are both pro players over in U playing for Game of Drones and they've been ALGS finalists multiple times each. Nice grapple to disengage him back up. Ezzy getting absolutely beamed as well. Hang on, very nice to create space. Gotta be hitting those wingman shots. Gotta be hitting those wingman shots. Zero from nine. It's not what you like to see. 17,000 bang ults. Very smart, uh, very smart path on zip there to take height to try and dodge the ult. Are these guys gonna be re-engaging with each other? Looks like they're gonna be chilling. But now, not directly re-engaging. Oh, okay. Moments later. Looks like the int is going to be coming in. Can Freestyle get the 2v1 clutch? I don't think he's got much chance here, I'm going to be honest, but I believe in him. Oh! Oh! God damn! Okay! A double time bang pushing in. Freestyle does not miss a shot. The man's fucking nuts. Sign him right now. Unless Rondong hit the big plays and he can't. God damn, Freestyler with the huge shots. All the way back here in zone. We've got a 1v1 situation happening. Tung needs to pull off that heal soon as well. He's going to die. I don't think you get that Phoenix off, Tung. Or oh, the heat shield. Actually, massive plays. He is going to be in a 1v1. Oh, 1v2 up against Serendipity and the boys who are both healing as well. What can the man do? Let's watch Tung. Let's see if he can pop 2v1. He is a good player. He's an OG player from OCE. OG Pred that hasn't played much recently. I think backing off here is a very smart play. Maybe try and take the cannon, get some distance, pop some heals. Quick reminder, guys, for every five subs we get this month, I'm going to open one Apex pack on one of your guys' accounts. Hit that sub button, and maybe you can win a lot of packs. Looks like we have a fight in zone happening over here, though. Between the Exo boys and the GOAT freestyler taking out pro players left, right, and center. Out of me, I was be taken down. What can Wolfie do? Can Wolfie get the 1v2 clutch? Or is Wolfie going to be hitting the legs? That's the real question. Freestyle is a goat. This man's insane. Hello, TSM, NRG. Sign him up. NRG, you might be able to win something if you sign him. He can freestyle on them all. It's like Wolfie's hit the mad legs. Doesn't look like Freestyle is going to be popping any insane shots to clutch. These guys do have to start coming in though. Zone, uh, zone 3 is going to be hitting soon. Doesn't look like we're having any other direct fights here. Helios and Hollows sitting chilling. These guys still peeking at each other from distance. 2-4 to four on the flatty. A man after my own heart. I'd love to see it. Not the big sprays though. A little bit less than man after my own heart. Looks like Freestyle could be rotating into a team over here though. Oh, these guys are pushing up. Finally, we got some movement and some play. The Freezer Weasel and Josh T. What can they do? That push would be open. So crazy. We Castle could be in a bit of trouble here. The controller beams. The controller beams for the Prowler. Not hitting that hard. Newcastle could make some big plays here. I believe. Play that shield, Newcastle. Play that shield. Stalker has taken out Freezer Weezer. Josh with a bit of the panic here, not gonna lie. Does take down Subs Q. 1v1 situation, but 1 HP. And he does manage to get taken down as well. Let's have a look at Freestyle. He's in a fight, and he's the most insane player I've ever seen in my entire life. Man's currently got 8 kills on the board right now. I hate that I just said that with every part of my soul. Oh! The double headshot into the body! This man is nuts. Holy moly. Heartless Toaster wins this, chat. Chat, if Heartless Toaster wins this, I'll give 50 subs to chat. You heard it here first. 50 subs if our man Heartless Toaster wins. I believe.
Uh, not going to have any in the straight fight. It looks like everyone's going to be chilling. Environment. Team chilling at the top here. Those guys moving over there as well. Heartless Toaster could be a bit of trouble. But in saying that, Freestyle is moving around on the peaking damage that's happening on the other side of this big chode rock. The teams they're about, to, they're about to walk up on involve of the uh, man with the most pred badges in the entire world. The man I'm talking about with the most pred badges is Honored Fire. He's got every pred badge to ever come into Apex. Arena's BR doesn't matter. He's got them all. He's been number one pred multiple times and he's nuts. And his teammate Splitter just got taken down. What can Honored Fire do? I believe in the man. He's got this. Going for that first there was a really weird move. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like it. He got absolutely beamed for it as well. Really, really taking out Honorfly on the other team, and now coming in taking out these boys as well. Hey, okay, who's going to be taking down Cronus and Billy Billy? I know who it is. It's going to be Heart. Never mind. Heartless Toaster died. Rest in peace, Heartless Toaster. I had all my hope in you. I'm sad. All right, so DJ and Prime are going to be playing low side, coming in with zone. It's going to be a little bit of cover with the rocks. Nothing crazy. We could have a fight over here happening with the boys. Let's have a look. I like the Watson fence. I like it. Watson, go. Now getting hauled up behind though. From zone side. Need to get the big space there, Bobo. Void Stalker and Subs Q's in a very good spot to play coming up and walking into zone as long as these two teams above fight. If these two teams above fight and Subs Q and Void Walker walk up, they could be in a very good spot. Let's see how this goes. Helios, you got this, I believe. Oh, he's gonna overpeak that. That's such an overpeak. He's so lucky he didn't get beamed doing that like crazy. Horizon Hepo Hollows. These guys are having a little bit of trouble with the uh, terrain around them. They're going to get the Seer ult down, but now they've lost height, and they're going to be looked down on terribly right now. Hollows, you're going to get beamed today. Don't heal there, sir. Ronos and Billy Billy, who I believe are equal first overall on the leaderboards as we speak as well. That's not good for Billy Billy. They might be on the rollers. They're a little bit out of their range. Billy Billy getting absolute beams of the Prowl as they take that Horizon Q up. I like the, I like the initiative with the Horizon Q going up, but... The control of the Prowlers are absolutely beaming. Billy Billy taking out almost both of them, getting no kills but doing all the damage. Chronos with the cleanups and the 1 to 2 R301 and the R99. Other man pushing in. Fucking Catalyst 2 with the funky skin. Fucking too good, this part of that. Three squads left. The real question here is where's the other squad? What are they doing? Are they waiting for the fatty third party? I'm pretty sure it's DJ Z as a solo. Newcastle older way to save his life. He's left his teammate for death though. Rest in peace. Void Stalkers got taken down. Oh, DJ Zed's actually a full team here. Pushed in through the bang on to DJ Zed's. What can Prime will do? Hit the big beams. Taking high ground. I like it. Very smart. DJ Zed playing out in the open. Not the ideal spot, but I believe it. Newcastle got his wall down over there, chilling. B scout shots. That is going to be sub Q's getting taken out. Final two squads. Billy Billy boys. I think it's Primal and DJ Zed. Oh my god. Primal getting his absolute head taken off. That man has got given a new haircut. Chrono is coming in, taking out DJ Zed. Ken Prime will get the 1v2. It's not looking good. Rest in peace. I think it was the Billy Billy Boys to take the dub. Fair play to them. Next up, after that Storm Point game where Freeze Dryer was hitting some insane shots, we have everyone's favorite, Weld's Edge. Is he going to shoot that guy? Try and sneak past. He's going to shoot. Ironside 30-30, not the best of weapons in the world. Team up and bridge as well. How's Primal doing? I think Primal's in a bit of trouble here. That zone's about to chunk Primal. You're going to have to move. Oh, he's found a little crack, a little crevice. Oh, the R99 sprays as well. Freestyle, Gorn, get him out of here. It's like a Rondon though. What can Rondon do? Rondon, for those of you who don't know, he's a pro player from EU. The man, he just get absolutely beamed. God damn. Woofy taking out DJ Zed. Daisy's taking out Kronos as well. Lots of trades going on right now. They all do have to rotate zone. Let's have a look at the teams that have set up in zone. Cloud Butter and Zoro. They're playing the sweatiest game I've ever seen. The boys have 123 and 17 damage. That must be a zone team. They're rotating smart. Who else we got playing? Looks like Heartless Toaster and Depressed Microwave, the E couple. They've also uh, rotated zone and played it well. Looks like they could be getting moved up on here by Madame Meow and, uh, and Woofy though. I kind of want to spectate Man and Meow for the Kraber shots. Where are the Kraber shots, Man and Meow? Hit them! Getting beamed in the back, though. Not in a good spot right now. Wolfie getting taken out as well. 
Gold bag reset though? Somehow that Maggie tactical's not hitting? What? This gold bag reset's making plays. Gonna go over there and play under maybe? That Pathfinder's gonna get tanked by zone. This could be the end for the Kraber team. It is the end to the Kraber team. Rest in peace to the boys. What we got here? We got Kronos and BB playing under. Team playing in the house as well. Could be a fight happening over here quickly. It is Subs and Voidwalker. Pretty sure it's down to a 1v1 situation. That man must have a digi. Oh my god. I'd be going crazy if I was voice talking all that pingy. He does. He takes out Primal. L-Star beams. Can he get the reset? Looks like he will be able to get the reset. Over here we have Subs and Voidwalker who didn't manage to get the reset. Gonna be a little tricky rotate in here, but they do have bank for smoking our ult coverage. Smoking off high ground. Very smart. Although the team pushing in there, pushing off high. It's gonna be Tongue and Dudo. As I said, the smoke. Zoro heal. I don't think Zoro wins this one, chat. I'm gonna be honest with you. What can Dumb and Dumb and do? They're gonna rotate back a zone. Play high ground. Very smart. Where's the team already back here though? So they're gonna have to fight them. Is that Zoro they're fighting right now? I hope it is. It's not, it's ah, oh, Calamity. Calamity and Love DJ getting taken out. Looks like Pluto and Tongue are the, uh, the final bosses of this lobby. Demon everybody. They are gonna be getting walked up on behind by Void Stalker and Subs. They do have to rotate into zone. They don't have much coverage where they are for zone right now. Or oh, maybe a little bit over here. I take it back. They're vibing. The main fight's gonna be happening over here then by the looks of it. Sorry, he's gonna be trying to work his way into zone. The 100 subs for chat. It's not looking too good. Can he grief anyone who's way in? Maybe get a KP. Use that smoke, sorry, use that smoke! Such an aggressive push! Rest in peace, sorry. I respected the effort. Billy really getting the kill. Down to three squads left. Down to the final two squads. Billy Billy! There's Dumb and Dumber! That how I think he's insane. The only reason Tongue and Pluto are even alive right now is for the high ground. And they managed to get the dumb. Dumb and Dumber managed to win. How do you guys all feel other competitors? You lost to people called Dumb and Dumber. That wasn't meant to be mean. I apologize. Apart from Boff. Boff sucks to suck. Time for round three, the third game. And we go back to the OG days of KC. We're gonna jump straight forward to one of the bigger fights in the game. It's gonna be the two pro players, Rondo and Azili, going up against the EXO guys. Two Masters players and a 50,000 kill banging Woofy. That was currently a 1v1. Rondon versus Woofy. The only issue is Woofy may be able to get a res here. Can Rondon stop the res? No attachment on the uh, Nemesis. Ooh, nice little angles by Woofy though. I'm lucky enough to hit and get some damage off it. Looks like Rondon may back up here. Oh, that charge rifle's so lucky. That's such a nice spot for it. Manages to crack Woofy as well. Gets the first very smart. Gets the KP for even if he dies and makes it a direct 1v1. Like Rondon maybe taking his time to disengage here. He's not gonna be able to get banned unless he goes for it right now, is the issue. Looks like he's not gonna get banned. Oh! He is gonna get banner! I think Woofy just got banner as well. Is this where the fight happens, or is the disengage gonna come out? Open the bin for extra cover. He does. He needs to get damage here though. And he does get the damage he needs. Oh, is that an L star? No, it was Prowlas. It sounded weird. Oh, it was Woofy's last bullet as well, and he's Prowler. He was down to zero ammo. Oh, Woofy takes out Rondon on the boys. Not bad by Woofy. Well done, well done, well done. Do we have any other fights going on over here? Looks like we've got a lot happening here, but they're all just chilling. Up here, they're just chilling as well. Look, like everyone's just voting. Ghost Slayer on the rats. I see that PK there, Ghost Slayer. I see that PK. <laughs> Destiny and stuff out on the side. Empty out on the side. Uh, so we've got three teams over here at R2, all in their own little building, just chilling. Looks like the biggest fight's probably gonna happen over here, though. Probably gonna happen over here between Bouncy, Freestyle, and the others. Freestyle and R are gonna be pushing Bouncy. Bouncy's a very good Ryzen main, though, so what can you do? Oh, Loba getting absolutely beamed. Ghost Slayer, Ghost Slayer comes in for the third party and takes out Wado from the side. You'd love to see it. Control looting, huge. Well, he's probably gonna play low ground now. Bouncy did manage to live on top, although his teammate did sadly die. Freestyle hit the grapple back up. He did. Ooh, that. Ooh, the Watson fences, the attempted Watson fences. You'd love to see it. A 
Rest in peace, Bouncy. You did well. Sadly, you've been taken out. Freestyle getting some more kills for his team. Looks like they should be okay to rotate him. They may get held by empty though here, but what can Ghost Slayer do? He's about to be in a fight against Waz Far and Matty Meow and Woofy are just over there as well. We have a three-way fight about to happen. Oh, the man was pretending to be a tree stump! Ghost Slayer gets scared half to death and does get taken out by the Nemesis. And Far is now officially the kill leader, but we do have Woofy and Madame Meow moving in on this. I'm not going to have any other fights happening anywhere else either. Not instantly, at least, anyway. So let's see if they can clean this up. No better. Hey, Creeper. The big crack with the bag on. you got to push hard off this now. But oh, looks like Van Smoke will allow disengage. Can they hold the team coming in from Zono? They take down Octane plays. Tapos isn't going to work as they get taken out. Like the Exo boys maybe pushing him to fight though. Is Hollows a solo over here or has he got a teammate? He does have a teammate. Helios and Hollows. Gonna go right side of the building though, so their rotate in is gonna be fine. We've got the Desu boys stuff chilling on high ground over here as well. These guys are gonna be chilling in zone here as well, vibing not too much is gonna be happening. Looks like the next fight's gonna be happening over here between the Hollows and Freestyler plus far. Freestyler with the fucking nutty 30 30 shots. Taking down our boy Helios. Now, what can our man Hollows do though? Are you gonna get styled on? Hollows looks like he's out. He is far gone. These guys have moved up on the fight over here a little bit. They're trying to get angles, trying to get peeks to each other. But I mean, high ground it doesn't look like anything largely is going to happen now. Unless one team ints down and gets themselves killed. Hollows sadly has been found though. Very nice 30 30 shot there by Freestyle. Hollows has been taken out. Freestyle getting some more kills. Freestyle could be making a play at the leaderboard here, making a play for first if possible. They have just been flew on as well. Maybe about to get the easiest KP of their life. Cloud Butter after such a nice clutch earlier. What has happened? No! Cloud Butter and Zoro about to be getting taken down by the Freestyle boys. Madame Meow actually steals the kill onto Zoro though. All right, two of the best teams left in the lobby about to fight. What's going to happen? Oh, no, Madam Yell backing up. They don't want to hard fight that. Is there a fight finally going to be happening over here? There is. Slazer and Mingyel getting absolutely sucked off through a door right now. Bang smoke everywhere. I hate it. slazer has been taking down Miguel. What can they do? A solo little lifeline. Range getting the kills. Freestyle taking up Madam Yell in the top right corner. Woofy in a 1v2 situation. Can he do anything? I think Miguel is sadly going to die here. Very nice beams on the on the uh, cocky double door kick. He does get taken out. All right, what can Woofy do? Can Woofy do anything special here? In a 1v2 situation, does get Madame Meow's better, but getting grappled on now as we speak. Trades damage, but you need to be doing more than in the 2v1. Sadly, Freestyle does take out Woofy. Rest in peace, Woofy. Woofy played very well, though. Very well by Woofy, not going to lie. Boys here, maybe getting third party by the next team. They are. Currently only three teams left. We've got Reigns and M1 over here. Freestyle over here. Dessa over here coming in as well. This far gets taken out. Freestyle was a long way away. They must have been popping heels trying to get angles, and he's been taken. His teammate's been taken down for it. Now, currently, they are 1v2v2 situation for him, and absolutely getting beamed in the back. The question is, is M1 and stuff going to overpush this and get themselves in trouble with a third party? A little standoff here for Luby. I doubt anyone's going to hard peek. Freestyle is definitely going to want to play. There may be a little bit of peak damage, but largely low profile. Oh, I take that back. He's definitely not going to play large profile. He's not going to go for that final third party. He wants the kills, and honestly, I respect it. Go for that 4k son. Uh, it looks like M1 and Reigns though are moving in Desu. Desu has managed to get themselves trapped between the two teams and hiding in the corner trying to kill. Gets taken down. Horizon Touch a little block off one side, but it's going to be a 2v1v1 situation now. Not going to be easy for them. I reckon my money would almost be on Freestyle to win this. This man is the most insane player I've ever seen in Apex.
That flick was insane. That spray was something else. What the fuck? But the man does get taken down. The sucking power is too strong. And he died in the 1v2 situation. Who won? I didn't even see. It wasn't Destu and the boys, was it? No, I don't think it was Destu and the boys. It was Reigns and M1. Reigns and M1, congratulations on winning the third game. You guys are nuts. That brings an end to the BR section of the tournament. The winners of this section that won some money were Roar XD, aka Freestyler's team, obviously, as he popped off. Burbick, Billy Billy, and Chrono's team came second. And Reigns M1, Zam got Pred, came third. As you can see, Freestyler, as I guess you would expect as well, also got most kills, winning an extra bonus prize. And along with this, not surprisingly, Horizon and Catalyst were the most picked legends. The 2v2s will take place on World's Edge inside Fragment slash Monument. First to win three rounds wins, and it will be the top eight teams from the last BR section. Although the winning team, Freestylers team, did drop out and had to go, so they won't be playing, and the eight team will get a pass into the first one. So first up, we have Team 2 versus Team 7. Obviously, Horizon's a very good pick for these 2v2s as well, because Horizon's one of the most insane OP dumb legends in the entire game. But I'm still surprised that both of them, both of them picked... Uh, what's it called? Very surprised that both of them picked Pathfinder. Interesting, we'll see how it goes. All right, so both one team landing near Monument to get the loot. DJ is in a primal landing over on the side near the building. There's a lot of loot in these buildings. So these uh, landings are very nice. Very good. Chronos and Billy Billy looted up underneath where there's an insane amount of loot as well. Double alternator, god damn. Eva PK! What? A little super light off there by Billy Billy, not bad. We've got a bad guy close. I said Billy Billy and Chronos are moving up. Chronos getting the absolute beams on the side as one of the boys tried to PVK out the door and get the angles. A little bit of misplay there on the balcony. It's beamed a little bit, but nothing too crazy. The window peak and he managed to take out DJZ through it and the turnaround kill on the other man as well. Alright, 1 0 so far to the boys over here. Very nice shots by Billy. And they have uh, moved and pushed the team back, in the, back into the building. Three nades going to the building in case they walk up the stairs. Could have been huge, but weren't, sadly. Enemy. Let's go see what DJ and Prime are doing. They're holding the edge. Got Digi Threats, which is very nice as well for Bang. Oh, Wingman 30-30 there on DJ's dead. I don't know about this gun combo. Window peak paying absolute dividends there as well. That's a little arm swap by DJ though, could catch them unaware. Alright, so it looks like they're gonna be landing on top of each other this time. Oh, okay, I like it. Billy Billy and Chronos are taking the initiative and they're gonna land on top of Primal and DJ. And see how this goes. Billy Billy instantly going for the straight fight as well. Hard pushing down. Chronos does manage to come and cover DJ. Cover his boy Billy Billy and takes out DJ. Primal gets the big shot of Billy Billy though. That was a decently one-sided fight, but it was still good. And now we have our third place team going up against our sixth place team to also secure their place in the quarterfinals. All right, it looks like they're going to be landing in similar spots to each other. They're going to be landing basically on top of each other. Although it looks like Madam Meow and Wolfie may go far side to create a little bit of space at the start. They are. I respect that. Reigns and M1 going under though. They're definitely going to get more loot than Wolfie and Madam Meow. 
The seer pick here from uh from Reigns M1 in my eyes is absolutely huge as well. I believe in like a 2v2 situation, Seer is so vital and needed. Literally the ability to stop a push or just to like be aggro to push with his tactical is next level insane. Mana Meow takes it out, 1 0. M1 Reigns again, once again being the aggressive team. I like this. I feel like being the aggressive team is almost always going to be to your advantage in these type of tournaments, in these type of games. Mana Meow getting absolutely beamed through the window. Wolfie needs to get some damage out here, a hold. Armor top there for Mana Meow, nice. Maybe a medkit as well. the window. I don't think the ball goes through the window. It doesn't. Man's balls is too big. M1's doing absolute work here. I like almost threw in a damage up already. Kind of a fail and nade there, but trying to get a little window peek. Can you even peek that window? You can. Oh, the massive window peeks. M1 takes out Madame Meow. What if he gains a big damage on range, but I think he could be in trouble here. This is going to be a hard 2v1. I believe in you, Wolfie. You clutch this up. Wolfie, if you clutch this, I'll give you a million dollars. Both white here, still on team two on the M1 and Reigns. Going back up to height, trying to maybe get some angles. Find where they are before they push. Tactical there. It's only 12 damage, but it's very nice. Makes them use the cell. You might, might always not have the most meds in these type of fights. M1 and Rain slowly moving in, as always, taking the uh, taking the angles, being the aggressive team. Currently 1 1 overall in the standings. What can Wuffy and Amanda Meow do? They don't want to get too trapped in the building. Being trapped in the building and letting the angles be taken on you, in my eyes, is always going to get you killed. Very nice pre nade there by Wuffy in case they're trying to land up there. I don't know about the double pre nade, but one's very nice. So Wolfie and Madame Meow out here looking for some more loot, looking for some heals maybe. Not finding any though, which kind of sucks. Moving back into the building, which is going to be a good play. Although in saying that, I don't think that the uh, boys over here on Team 2 have much loot either. Oh, Reigns, I take that back. He's found a lot of cells. He's vibing. Aggressive though, he has no heals, so he knows his time is now to get aggressive. He does move into a 2v1 situation that will take a lot of damage. Adam Meow is gonna have to get the beams out here. Hold Woofy while he tries to heal, maybe. Oh, big horizon, oh, this is unlucky. And Range takes down Adam Meow. Woofy does have a Phoenix kit. Let's see what he can do. Can he can he take the 2v1?
Now we are gonna pull up, which is very important. We'll be using the smoke to try and disengage. Push straight through the bangle and take high ground. Oh, Wolfie could be in trouble. He took a lot of damage coming up. I don't think he realized they want height. Oh, he's gonna get some people as well. Rest in peace, Wolfie. Unlucky to the man. I believe they met him. Yeah, the 2v1 clutch up. Never seen him lose these. Sadly, the EXO boys couldn't bring it home there. And now we go off to find our last quarter finalist. The fourth and fifth place team from the BI event going up against each other now. All right, so we've got Horizon and Pathfinder. I'm pretty sure tons they are Pathfinder mains, so it makes sense. And Horizon, obviously, crazy, super strong in, two v in 2v2s and 1v1s. And the Octane and Wraith. Interesting combo here from Team 2. Not the combo I would have gone with, but we'll see how it goes. Looks like Subs and Stalker are going to be landing this side of Cap. Not going to go for the Insta Contest. So uh, Pluto and Kung will definitely be getting the better loot off spawn. So we'll see. All right, so very smart by uh, Pluto and Tongue here. Pluto gonna go for the Insta Craft and his armors to get blue off stop. Very smart. Well, Void and uh, Subs are looting that. Well, actually, Void and Subs both got blue off spawn and looking to be aggressive off that. I think it's a very smart play. Being the aggressive to start. No light bag for Sub Q on his double light though. It's very sad. Does see them uh, crafting though. So is he gonna try to do something good off it? Maybe a big Thermite? Here's one up higher. Oh, that grenade's gonna miss. Uh, I'll, I'll work out after Vodka. Oh, Pluto and Tongue getting the double beams onto Void Stalker and taking him down with the team spray. 2v1 situation for our Octane here. Does get a little bit of damage out, but doesn't manage to get the win. So currently going to be 1 0 to the team Dumb and Dumber. Oh, Tongue and Pluto are gonna get aggressive here. I guess they're getting aggressive off the grenades. I don't think the grenades got any tags. Dodging the C attack there, very important. Not doing it. Fake res, I like it. The wide swing. Tongue manages the cl clutch off. All right, 2-0 to the boys. One more round and they go through. Pluto and Tongue trying to get that opening peak down. They're not really getting much here.
23 games left, semi-finals time, not quarterfinals, like I said before. And we now have the team that got a buy in the first round going up against the team that came second overall, Chronos. Nothing wrong with that, Renault. All right, so the boys are going to be landing on top of each other here, basically. Once again, the Zen Hollow boys taking the left and the uh, Billy Billy Chronos boys taking the right. I think my money here low-key might be on Chronos versus Billy B. I think they're the favorites going into this fight, so we'll see how they do. Havoc Eva off spawn as well, insanely good loot. As the Billy B and Chronos trying to be the aggressive team here. Billy Billy did make it into the building. The other boys are in here as well. This is going to be interesting. Ended up pre-nated himself out. Chronos joins with the grapple. Very smart there by Billy Billy. I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know you could do that. I know you could sit this window. I didn't think they're getting there that way though. That was very smart. That looks like they know they're there by that placement of the attack. Alright, it looks like both teams are moving up towards each other. I think Billy Billy boys are going to take high, which is very smart. Zen boys are going to move off uh, back to train station to take cover. Alright, so Billy, Billy and Chronos have got high here. Probably going to sit up here for a while and wait for the bottom team to make a mistake. Alright, Kronos and Billy Billy being very aggressive up into the building. Oh, the absolute beams out as well. Zen Hollows gets taken down. The other Zen man running up the stairs trying to play the shield. Gets a nice shot but gets taken down as well. Time to work out our second grand finalist in our second semi-finals game. We have Dumb and Dumber going up against M1 and his boy. Looks like the boys are going to be hard contesting each other for the middle of the main loot as well. I wonder if one team's going to end up top, one team on, one team down bottom. Looks like M1's using Horizon Tactical to go straight down. Range guys the most out and go straight down as well. Infiltrating damage, all four people on the main loot fighting. RE45 and Mozambique popping off and M1 and Reigns take the first round. Tongue and Pluto will be looking to make a comeback in the second. Nice little fast one there, I like it. Alright, so other boys gonna be contesting again. Looks like the boys are gonna be hard contesting again. Alright, let's see how this goes. M1 and Reigns, he's got a 30 30. Can he make big plays for that? Does have really good hit fire. But Tongue does manage to take out Reigns. Now gonna 1v1. Horizon vs Fuse. M1 vs Tongue. Tongue and OG Apex Predator. Not sure what M1 is. Getting a little super glide off though. It's looking like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard contest again. You know what? Let's watch the boys over on the hard contest. Let's see what they can do. All right, Tongue, no pressure. We're spectating you on the hard contest. Oh, a Havoc. One of the best weapons you could possibly get for a hard contest. It's now finally grand final time with the winner of this winning themselves a sky pad each. It's also kind of funny that we have two controller players in Chrono's team going up against two mouse and keyboard players in Reigns and M1. So who's going to win? Controller, mouse and keyboard, grand final time? Let's do it. Looks like they're going to be hard contesting each other on main part, which is going to be interesting. Let's check out that way, friends. 
Uh, it's going to be a hard missile spawn. Kronos does get the vault, though, which is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, we can for the horizon down there, but it does take some damage. Oh! I don't think commentary was even needed for that. The boys just got the better loot, to be fair to them. They got the opening damage and the lead down, and then they got the better loot down there. Fast game's a good game, as they say. Are we really going to hit the no reg. Then the triple hit fire with a longbow. Oh my god. Does manage to get the re knock though from M1. So, what's gonna happen? We're in a 1v1 right now. Chronos versus M1. Run. Our boys M1 and range are trying to make plays, going up the tactical, arc starting up. The only issue with that is now that unless they get mad opening damage, they have no way to take advantage of it. They don't. Oh, right, so M1 and range can be backing off a little bit, taking some angles maybe. Uh, what are the other boys doing? Billy Billy and Kronos already backed off to the side buildings, getting more loot, and both managed to find blue armors, which is actually massive. Currently 2-1 to the controller boys now. Going into what could be the final round. Oh my god, okay. So Kronos has got the insane loot off spawn. One, one spawn, he got flatline massive. He should have pushed off this, making big damage. Oh, the wingman shots and Havoc Spray coming out from raids though. And the boys take the dub and they make it 2-2. Two -two. You know what they say, a fast round's a good round. That's that's what the girls tell me at least anyway. It's like everyone in range must agree. 2 all. That means we go into the final round of the event. The winner of this wins it all. M1, you got this. A Vault and an Eva. Ooh, leaving one gun for his boy, taking the other. The other team's up top. They didn't hard drop, which is probably a good thing because there was no gun there down there. Let's see what they're doing exactly. They're staying up there, they're playing height. Billy Billy's on the side, opening the bins. Backing off so they can get more loot. Smart players with Billy Billy and Kronos. They didn't get what they needed to fight off spawns. So they didn't hard contest, didn't hard drop. They're backing off to get loot. I like it, I like it. Control team's taking the low ground. Very interesting. Contact. Maybe hoping for the overpeak. They got a mouse and keyboard player on each side of the zip ups. Trying to get peak damage on each other. Let's see what the controller team's doing. Controller team's playing low. Really, really getting a little bit peaky there. No one wanting to make the move though. No one's wanting to make the aggressive move that cost them everything. But, I mean, hey, maybe they'd make a big move and win everything. Who knows? Balls weren't strong enough, and the controller team has won two sky pads. Probably not the best surprises for the controller team, but let's go, controller team. <laughs> Chronos, Billy Billy, congratulations. You guys are fucking cracked. And GG's, uh, GG's reigns in M1. You guys played really well, guys. GG's. Thank you guys for playing.